this is not business, this is education. We're not developing a product that we can sell. We're developing children's minds. My name is Gail. I'm a teacher. I've taught for 32 years. So I've seen a lot of changes in education. M merit pay is something that um, is typical with businesses but has not really been part of education. Being paid for outcomes and for what you've produced as far as learning goes with your, with your kids. So it's a matter of tracking children and their growth and what they have learned in a period, a set period of time through testing. My name is Joyce Piannon. I teach fourth grade in Northville Public Schools. My definition of teacher merit pay would be a cash incentive to try to get teachers to do their best. In the district where I teach, teacher merit pay is based on five separate components. If you're able to meet all five qualifiers, then you get teacher merit pay. If you don't meet one of the five and you only meet four, you are no longer eligible for teacher merit pay. So if I were to obtain all five of those in June, I would receive some sort of cash incentive. I suppose it would maybe make teachers work harder. I think that's the idea behind it. it would, it's meant to make teachers achieve higher, but I think teachers are just going to start getting really competitive with each other. I just, I don't see a lot of good things resulting from it. My name is Jillian Firos. I've been an English and special education teacher for three years. Merit pay, a teacher will be paid a base salary and then based on how their children in their class perform on standardized tests, they'll be paid um, as well as their students perform. So if you have high performing students, you'll get paid more money. If you have low performing students, um, money won't be taken away, but you won't be, be paid any more money than you already make. Merit pay changes the entire way a teacher will teach. Right now we have creative control, whereas we have benchmarks, but we can choose how we teach those benchmarks to children. When teachers are competing for money and for jobs, it's going to be more of a let's teach to the test. How can I get my kids to perform the best? Even if I have to kind of flub the results of the test, a lot of teachers will say, well, if I go on merit pay, then I'm just going to cheat on the test, and I'm going to say that my kids did better than they actually did. My name is Brian Woodcox and I'm the percussion director at Novi High School in Novi, Michigan. I'm paid on a, a per rehearsal basis. It's in the range of $40 to $50 per rehearsal and usually rehearsals last anywhere from three hours to eight hours. And if we have a great season and we go on and we say we're second or third best or even first um, in the state of Michigan amongst the other groups in our class, If you find a, a job that makes sure that you do an excellent job and that you prepare yourself and that you put everything you have into it, 